Hello everyone, welcome to Production Music Live. This is João and today I'm going to showcase our new MIDI and preset pack for Serum called Serum Techno Pack Volume 2 and I'm going to use it to create this melodic techno track idea. So, we are starting off the project with a kick drum that sounds like this. It's from Deep Premium Volume 2. It's uh, called Kick 2 Tech 002. And we are using the amp plugin to give it a little bit more low end and the EQ to take some of the mid and high frequencies out. Let's hear the difference with and without these plugins. A little bit more tamed, the kick. And we are also transposing it down one semitone and we are making a 100, about 100 millisecond uh, fade out so that our kick doesn't go past the 200 milliseconds uh, size, which is more than enough. So before we move on, let's just duplicate this, this kick. Let's call this one kick sidechain. Instead of going out to the master channel, we are going to send it only for the sends. And this kick is only going to be used to control the sidechain input on all the compressors that I'm going to add very soon. So we are not going to hear the kick twice because it's for sends only. And this one is for master fader, so we only hear this one. Okay, so let's start by adding an instance of Serum and let's pick a bass from our Serum Techno Pack Volume 2. Let's make it the Quake bass, which sounds like this. Right, it already has built in sidechain. Here in the modulation matrix, we have LF43 connecting the controlling the overall or global amplification, and LF43 is doing this. So we already have a bit of sidechain, and let's add the corresponding MIDI file. For this pack, there is a MIDI file for each of the presets to get you started. So this one is Quake. Let's make our loop a little bit longer and let's listen to how it sounds. Right. While we were listening, I added a compressor to add more sidechain, more pumping effect to the bass line and it gets out of the kick's way. Let's uh, listen to the volumes. It's not bad, but I always want the kick to be two decibels louder than the bass, or the bass to be two decibels uh, lower, at least two decibels lower than the kick. So I'm going to add the compressor before the sidechain compressor, uh, because if I added it after, then I would be uh, getting rid of some of the sidechain compression that I'd added before. And a little bit faster attack, and let's try to make this volume a little bit more stable. Take out the audio makeup. much more controlled. Let's add one decibel here and another one here to make it a little bit louder. 
cool. That sounds about right. Let's add an EQ so we can make a little bit of room for the kick drum. Let's see where the kick drum is hitting. Dip it a little bit around the 40 hertz mark. This sequence is very basic and um, I mean it's MIDI so we could do anything we want to it. Let's start by adding a little bit of glides so when we change the notes when we want we can have a glide effect between the two notes. So first we're going to put serum in mono and then we're going to use the portamento and now every time that we overlap these notes we are going to have a glide effect going on. Let's listen to it. Right, sounds good. We can exaggerate it uh, more, but for me this is good. And we can, you can control this uh, in the MIDI so when you want to have the glide between the notes, just make sure they overlap, because if they don't overlap, they will not uh, do the glide effect. Okay, this is without, and this. All right, much more interesting. So I'm hearing uh, some, a little bit of artifacts in the sidechain compression, let's have a little bit of look ahead to get rid of that. So we already have a nice kick and bass going. Let's keep adding elements. Let's go for a percursive or a drum element now. Another instance of Serum. And let's listen to what we have here. Perk Crickets. Cricket. Yeah, this is the one. Let's listen to how it sounds. And let's import the corresponding MIDI file to, to get it started with an idea. Here it is. Cool, looks like it's already in key, so let's just make this, uh, some adjustments to the sounds. This is two layers, we have the noise layer and the oscillator B. Let's isolate each one. This one is a little clicky, so let's go to LFO2, which is controlling the volume level of oscillator B, and let's give it a little bit of attack. And layer number two, it's the noise layer, which is doing a hi-hat pattern. Of course you can change the noise sample here to see if you can get something that's it's more of your style. This alpha noise, it's not bad, and we're already making it our own by changing a little bit 
of the sound character. Let's add such an compressor. I'll copy it from this track. Really nice ambience, this oscillator B. Let's hear with and without. Nicely in the background. Yeah, and this LFO one with the sidechain shape is controlling the reverb mix, which is giving like a pumping feel, but not to the sound itself, and only to the atmosphere, which is the reverb around the sound, which is really interesting. Tweak it the way you like, but I think it sounds good. Of course, we can always add notes to each and every one of these MIDI files, but for now it's sounding good, so let's keep going. Let's add a low tom to complement the bass. So another instance of Serum, and let's listen to the toms that we have. This one. Yeah, it doesn't sound bad. Let's see what else we have here. I think this kick heritage can be very nicely transformed into a tom. Let's hear it. A little bit too much. I think I like this one a little bit better. Let's compress it a little bit and maybe EQ it as well. Let's first write a MIDI clip for this one. I'm not sure what the original MIDI clip was, but I already have a nice idea for for this one, so. so let's write what I have in my mind. These drum presets are key tracked, so make sure that you are in the right key for your track. Okay, this is one octave up, not sure about that. Okay, I think it sounds better here. see what we have in the EQ. Yeah, that's right, we don't need any of this. I 
actually it was sounding a little bit better with that EQ. We need a little bit more of low end. So let's tweak it. Still, still a little bit um, high on the frequencies, the, the, the attack that we were trying to control here with the compressor, still hitting a little bit hard, so let's try to control that. sounds good it's nice and audible and it's not going anywhere near the kick or the bass so that's good we have an extra layer of rhythm in the low end part of course we can add more and make different parts for the arrangements to sound better but for now it's i'm really happy with it so let's move on and go for another track let's keep adding drums so there's a lot of drums in this pack at least 10 presets i think so so let's add a shaker there's a couple of shaker presets here let's go for the shaker rice yeah Sounds like this. And as you can see, it's also pitch, the pitch is key tracked. So in the same MIDI file, you can have very high frequency sounds and very low frequency sounds. in the same instrument, which is very versatile and can help you make different rhythms as you are going to listen to when we add the Shaker Rice MIDI file. Okay, this is all from the same preset. So you have this sound, this sound, this one, and this lower one. All together, it goes like this. And since, since this is key tracked, let's take it up a little bit to our D, which is our main note. Let's see if it sounds a little bit better. Not all notes are in D, but some of them are. Let's paste the sidechain compressor that we already copied before. A little bit better, let's try this one really low.
Okay, let's delete this one. Let's add CineQ to see if we can take a little bit more out of this one. Nice, let's bring this one back to where it was. Right, we already have a couple of drums, ambience effect, kick and bass. Let's keep adding more content. So another instance of serum and let's add a little bit more of harmonic content. So let's go for a chord. This tension one I think is nice. This sounds interesting, so let's draw MIDI clip. Let's paste the side chain as always. Okay, nice little effect on the background. There's a lot we can do with this. This is a really simple rhythm, but for now it's more than fine. So let's keep adding more stuff. Another instance of serum. Right, what else can we go for? Let's go for uh, an effect. Uh, I think this one is really nice. Lost planets or maybe, let's see, isolation. See what what we have in this MIDI file, the isolation. Yeah, this is not interesting for this track, so let's mute it. hard on the side chain.
Yeah, it's these little small details that give ambience and life to our track. So even if it's very low and you can just hear it from time to time, it's very interesting to have these kind of elements in your track. So this wasn't really the type of effect that we were looking for. We were more into like something more noisy maybe. So let's go for another serum. I think there is an effect called noise pump. Exactly, which is our typical sidechain noise. Cut off going down and then going up. So let's write long MIDI here. Let's make it longer. Okay, this is enough. Let's make the, the cutoff go a little bit lower. And maybe give it a little bit more reverb and delay. And extra sidechain compression. This preset already has sidechain compression as well here in the mod matrix. Another for one for the noise level. As always, the, the compressor adds something nice to the to the sidechain effect, so I always advise you to use it. So you already have a noise effect. Let's mute it for now and let's see what else can we add. We don't have a lead yet, so let's add one of those. And let's see what we have here in the lead department. Let's listen to a few of them. <laughs> Bad. Let's listen to another one. This could be interesting. But it's not much of a lead, it's more like a background Thing. We want something more powerful. This one has a lot of potential, but I think we can find better. Yeah, 
has something like this. Uh, remember that all presets have the mod wheel pre-mapped, so if you had, want to have, add a little spice to your sound, just try the mod wheel, it will do something extra for sure. In this, in this case, it adds an extra layer. Let's write a MIDI clip on this one. But first, let's fix this delay that's not really working that well here. Yeah, let's make it not dotted. Yep. Sounds like a nice sequence. Oh yeah, this is this one has a little bit of attack on the filter and on the amp. So mm -hmm. the timing of the the positioning of the notes will have to have this in consideration. Let's see how we can make this work. I see this one, for example. If I want it to sound exactly here, I'm going to have to put it one step earlier to have in account the time of the attack uh, and make it so that it occupies the right position. So let's listen. Okay, it's late, so let's put it a little bit earlier. And let's tweak the delay a little bit more so more feedback Yeah, this one also has the velocity controlling the amount of delay, so we can do stuff like these first notes have lower delay than the last one, or maybe these ones only. 
and this one have a lot of delay. Cool, let's add the side chain as, uh, as always to make it a little bit cleaner. What? let's make the velocity control the amount of reverb as well so we can have an exaggerated reverb on those notes with extra velocity sounds cool we already have lead so what else do we need let's add another ambience let's go for a path we don't have any of those yet so another instance of serum and i remember creating one of the pad sounds with a really nice modulation i think it's this one impervious and this uh, modulation yeah exactly it's controlling the rate of lfo number four and LFO number four is controlling level and cutoff level for oscillator B and cutoff for the filter and this means that on the same MIDI clip we can have different velocity velocity on different notes and that different velocity is going to control our LFO rate so without any automation we can control LFO rate inside the clip I'm going to play the keyboard just a little bit so you can see how, how this works and then I'm going to write a sequence to illustrate this example This is just hitting the notes with different uh, strengths, the, which translates into different velocities, which after the modulation translates into different rates for our um, LFO, which is controlling level and the filter. So I heard one of the oscillators is not really fitting here. Yeah, one of them one of them is plus seven semitones and was sounding a little bit weird, so I'm going to turn that one off. Cool. And now I'm going to start writing our MIDI clip. Okay, let's make two notes one after the other, but this one with a lower velocity, so you can see what happens to the LFO rate. down okay cool nice one this one maybe like this and one here, slower LFO rate.
pool. Of course, this has to be twice as big and we can make mm, different, or maybe instead of doing that, let's just make it. Nah, not really what I wanted. So let's go again for the eight bar loop and let's write it by hand. cool so we already have a beginning of a track with all of the elements that we are going to need all of them created with serum except the kick drum and it's sounding good i'm happy with it and this is just an example of what you can do with uh, this pack of course this fits a lot of techno styles you can listen to the demo track and see a little bit of uh, minimal and cosmic and melodic so it's very interesting and very flexible to use and let's listen to the track one more time with everything playing at the same time and the only thing left for us to do would be the arrangement and i'm not going into that in this video so let's listen to it one more time and hope you learned something from this video and you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one